Good morning, everybody. Today I am, or should be, finishing packing because I'm going back to the Peak District for a lovely weekend with the travel squad. We also have Naira coming with us this time, which we didn't last time, so I think that would just make it even better as well because, you know, we love Naira. She wasn't too convinced on the camping to begin with, but I think, uh, yeah, she, she don't want to miss out, so... Um, hopefully she really enjoys it. <laughs> We're going to try and make it a really good experience for her. So, plan of action is today I need to finish my packing. I'm pretty prepared this time, I think. Um, but... She says that and then I'll get there and then, yeah, I would be missing really important things like my pillows or something, which is one thing I need to actually pack. Naira is going to come to me at 12 and then we're going to drive from mine to Hannah's in my car. So it saves us taking two cars to Hannah's. We are going to pack Hannah's car up with all of our stuff. And obviously, because there's three of us this time, we're going to have li a little less room. So one of us is going to be very squished with all of the stuff. And then we're going to make our way to the Peak District. But I think we'll probably make a stop at Mackey's or something on the way. <laughs> Mechanic. <laughs> I don't need no man. <laughs> Baby cow. Where's the baby's gone? <laughs> well, actually, it's really pretty. Smile! <laughs> Having veggie burgers from Plant Menu, hashtag Plant Menu. I've got tissue on my nose. Add Plant Menu. <laughs> <laughs> Naira, how was your first camping experience with her? It's really good so far. <laughs> I think, yeah, it's really good. Larry, <laughs> we got perfectly good burger there. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we have had some drinks. <laughs> Our bed. Oh my god, look at me. <laughs> they think it's a phone. <laughs> Are we going to spoons or straight to Oh video? <laughs> Why are you guys so bad at the video? <laughs> we're not vloggers. What's the place that we're going called? dressed as bad fashion today so i've gone for the zoo look naira's gone for hippie vibes <laughs> and hannah's been boring <laughs> Thank you. 
She walks. Here we go, here we go. Woo! Go Sharky, go Sharky, go Sharky, go Sharky. Hello everybody, I have got home from the Peak District about a couple of hours now. I've just been chilling because honestly I was so so tired. Um it has been a really really hot day today as well, so I feel like yeah, it was kind of needed to just chill and not go out the house. I don't think I could have physically coped in this heat. Um it was such a fun weekend. We honestly had done so much and I didn't really think that we'd be able to um in the time that we were there. So on the Friday, Hannah had a few issues with her car. <laughs> so basically, every time she went to go turn the steering wheel, um, it made this like grinding, screechy noise. And we were like, oh my gosh, what is that? Um, and it first happened when we were at Mackie's car park and we were like, what's going on? Like, is there something underneath your car? Um, carried on driving and it was absolutely fine. And then it, we realised it was actually when she turned because obviously like she was on the motorway for quite a while. So we didn't really realise. And then when she went to go turn and we just heard this noise again and it kept happening and we were like, we're going to have to pull over. So we had a little look and we couldn't see anything like physically wrong with it. We could just hear this noise every time she turned. So we we're like, mm, what's going on here? Like, is it a problem with the car itself? So we were like, right, don't worry about it. Well, someone on the camp will be, you know, a mechanic or know about cars, etc. So we were like, we're just going to get there. So we started driving again, went around this roundabout and it made the loudest screecher noise. And I was like, oh my God, it's getting worse. And then after that really loud one, nothing, literally nothing. Everything was fine then. So I really don't know what was wrong with it. It's like some, maybe something was stuck. Um, when she was like trying to turn it, I'd, I'd, I have no idea. Um, but anyway, it's absolutely fine now. I think Hannah's probably going to get it checked or get someone to just, you know, have a little look at it at least just to make sure that everything's all right. But it seemed to be okay after that last one. So I'm not quite sure what the issue was. Not a mechanic, but there was definitely something wrong with it at the time. So anyway, we made it to camp. We had a little barbecue spoke to people who so when we go to Germany we're actually going with um another couple of girls um from the travel group that we haven't met yet so they actually went camping and we were able to meet them and sort of kind of get to know them a little bit more before we did go to Germany which was really really nice I'm so glad that they came I'm actually going to Cologne in two weeks um and of course I'll be vlogging the trip there as well I I had such a good time at the Peak District. On the Saturday, we went wild swimming and it was so much fun to just like jump in the cold water in the really warm heat, um, have a little swim around and just, yeah, have fun really. Um, I did get splashed several times. I was not expecting to get my hair wet and I went back to the campsite and I was literally just drenched. <laughs> but the sun managed to dry everything off really really quick so it was good that it was quite warm outside because i did not freeze once um it was quite nice because when we went to the waterfall you had to go like from the car um to the waterfall there was like a 25 30 minute walk but we actually went the wrong way so we ended up doing like this mini hike and then realized we were going the wrong way because we didn't have signal on our phones so we couldn't like work out where this place was so anyway we decided to basically turn around and then go back the other way um, I managed to find it, so um, got to the waterfall and then yeah, had um, quite a long, spent quite a while there to be honest. Um, it was really nice just to kind of chill. Um, Hannah didn't go in because she had a tattoo done recently and then Naira sat out as well. Um, but there was a f quite a few of us there, so yeah, I just went in and thought why not because last time I was like, I really regret not going. But I feel like I was saving it for this time because it was so, so warm and it was really, really nice to just jump in the cold water. Um, and when I say jump, I literally mean like tiptoe in. <laughs> um, it was a dunk your shoulders under the water kind of moment. We actually stopped off at Weatherspoons um, for a late lunch after going to the waterfall. And it was so, so nice because we were all sat out in the sun obviously i was the only one who went like proper swimming so my hair was soaking matted and i was sitting outside by the spoons just looking like a mess but yeah but i'm never gonna see them again it's fine today we woke up feeling 
a bit on the rough side because last night we did have quite a few drinks um no it wasn't too bad to be fair in all honesty we had actually a really good sleep because it was quite warm whereas the first night was a bit more chilly so i think yeah last night i definitely did sleep better um but yeah we had a few drinks and i think we went to bed at like three um and i woke up about half nine so i did manage to get you know quite a few decent hours in <laughs> um but i do not normally stay up until three i probably go to bed about 11 every night maybe even earlier so it was quite difficult for me to stay up that long if i'm honest i was yawning away especially with the campfire and it being like not too cold so then today before we left we got up um i made everyone breakfast i there's a little bit <laughs> of a theme so i'm kind of like the mum of the group so i kind of like cooked and you know organized everything and like yeah I've, i just naturally have that in me okay so <laughs> that was my name for the trip um it was for the last one as well <laughs> so yeah the girl's just called mum now which i don't mind i think it's quite cute and then we got ready packed away and then made our way over to um bakewell uh, i went to bakewell on the last trip to the peak district it's such a lovely place to just stop have a drink at the pub, have a little walk around because they have like little independent shops and um, they're all like cutesy, you know, handmade stuff. Um, they have like the most insane cheese. <laughs> they have um, a cheese shop and it just does like so much stuff. I actually bought some chutney from there um, because my grandparents really love chutney and I thought, you know, I'd treat them. Um, and then, yeah, Bakewell Tarts, of course, the home of Bakewell Tarts. So I managed to get a little Bakewell tart to take home with me. I actually think I'm going to give it to my mum. I was going to eat it myself, but in all honesty, yeah, I think I'm just going to give it to her. I've eaten quite a bit this weekend. It took us about two hours to get back. So overall, I think, you know, quite a good journey on the way back. It did seem to go pretty quick compared to the way there. Um, so yeah, thank you Tan for driving. My next vlog will probably be Germany because that is my next trip away. Um, however, I am going to potentially do maybe, if they are interesting enough, some weekly vlogs. Thank you for watching today guys. I hope you did enjoy. Um, if you do have any questions about TTS, also known as the Travel Squad, um, please do let me know because I am welcome to answering any of your questions that you may have and also anything that you want to know about the peak district etc then yeah just feel free to drop me a message or um just drop a comment in the comment section if you are still enjoying my travel videos then please do let me know any advice would be great and yeah if you haven't subscribed already then please subscribe and yeah i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video